Ladies and gentlemen, it is happening. The Apple Vision Pro is less than a month away. Yes. So Apple has announced it today at the very beginning of CES here in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is coming and it will be available in 2nd of February at the Apple stores and at apple.com. Wow. Let's dig into the whole news. How can you pre-order how can you demo it? What is the device you're gonna find out in this video? So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sebastian Ang and I'm well here to tell you everything about the Apple Vision Pro. Apple's first mixed reality headset and well, the spatial era is beginning now according to Tim Cook. Well, I couldn't be more excited. This channel is called MRTV, which stands for Mixed Reality TV. So if you're excited about the Apple Vision Pro and well, this whole spatial computing thing, <laughs> then absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. Yes, so hello again here from Las Vegas. I'm here at the Luxor, this pyramid, and well, reporting about CES for you. So the biggest news probably at the very beginning of the show, Apple announces the Vision Pro release and the pre-order dates. So they had told us that they're going to do this in the beginning of 2024 and they're keeping their word. Vision Pro release is on 2nd of February for $3,500. Yes, it is a very expensive device. I'm gonna get it, <laughs> well, surprise here. And probably some of you will too when you find out what it can do and I will tell you more about the device in this video if you have no idea what this is. So this is a US release only, so you won't be able to get it in the UK, in Canada, in other places in Europe like Germany and so on and so forth. So first, the US only, and we didn't hear when this is going to come to other countries. It will come to other countries. The question is just when. All right, it will be available in Apple stores or on apple.com, and you will be able to pre-order this on January the 19th at 5 a.m. P. Tea. So very soon we can pre-order this. And if you want to get a device on the very first day, I would say go, go to the website on January the 19th and pre-order this. You know, like how complicated it was to get the, the Apple iPhone 15 Pro that I have here. I had to pre-order it as well. So for this device, I don't think they're going to have huge quantities, honestly speaking. So if you want to get it, I would suggest you to pre-order it on January the 19th. It is going to be equipped with 256 gigabyte of storage. We haven't heard of any other configurations. So probably this is the one kind of SKU that they're going to sell. Also, we heard about the inserts, the optical lens inserts if you are a glasses wearer like me this is how they're going to do it so they will have these lens inserts and you can order them like hundred dollars for those reading glasses or off the shelf and 150 if you want to have your prescription in those lens inserts that you want that you will put onto the lenses so for me 150 dollars on top of the three thousand five hundred dollars all right, so we also heard some other news about the Apple Vision Pro next to that release date. Very soon, it's gonna be very soon. Oh, wow, <laughs> I am excited. Yep, so also we're going to get another strap. This strap here, it's a new head strap that we didn't hear before. And this head strap is called the Dual Loop. And we're going to get it along with the original Vision Pro head strap that we saw before. So. This head strap, it does look more like an original VR head strap, right? We have seen this kind of straps before. And now what we didn't see in the beginning was we have this middle head strap that goes over your head. And in general, that is a good idea to take some of the weight off of your face, right? Well, we have had like um, heads, VR headsets for quite a number of years yet. And it's always been a great idea 
to have this kind of top head strap. Really good. Um, and well, you're gonna have two options. This is the original that we saw already. This also looks kind of cozy and nice. However, it lacks this kind of middle head strap. And basically also you can use the middle head strap together with this one if you want. So what I suppose is that people with long hair are not going to enjoy this particular head strap, right? No place to put the long hair, right? And it's gonna be much better to use this one, I suppose. So good news, it comes in the original package for $3,500, <laughs> right? For that money, you can expect something like this. Good, good. So that is, that is what we heard today. Also, we heard about the demos. So uh, when can you get a demo? And we heard that actually they are going to start demoing the device also on February the 2nd at 8 a.m. It's going to start. <laughs> and they will offer, um, Apple retail stores will begin offering customers Vision Pro demos. Right, so this was announced in an email going to customers on the promotional mailing list and it said the following. Be one of the first to get a demo of the Apple Vision Pro only at the Apple Store. Starting at 8 a.m. on Friday, February 2nd, we invite you to sign up for a demo of the Apple Vision Pro at your local Apple Store. Demo times will be available Friday through the weekend on a first-come, first-served basis. So, you know what? I don't really understand this news. It kind of sounds like, is it only this weekend? Is it only Friday, Saturday, Sunday from the February the 2nd? That would be, in my opinion, yeah, not enough. I believe many people will want to check it out before actually like paying $3,500. So I suppose this is going to be every weekend, but we don't know that yet. We'll have to clarify, uh, yeah, and find out about that. Yes, so really, really exciting news. And obviously, I can't wait to check it out myself. So, while I'm telling you about this, I also want to tell you about Try My Tech. So, if you plan to get the Apple Vision Pro on day one, and if you want to show others your device, you can do so on TryMyTech, on TryMyTech.com. So this website was made for this purpose of showing others devices like the Apple Vision Pro that you can't easily demo. So we don't know yet about the situation of the demos. I simply believe that there's gonna be more people that want to try the device as opposed to how many demos Apple actually can do. So if you plan, to buy a device, an Apple Vision Pro, on the very first day, for example, you can put that on Try My Tech and you can offer your own demos to people and yeah, show them in a more intimate manner and probably longer, yeah, how what the device is gonna look like. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make more videos about this. I'm looking for like um, five people that are going to buy this on day one and I'm going to heavily um, feature them on trymytech.com and this is going to be very exciting. You're, you're going to get more info about this here on the channel later. Yeah, so why am I personally excited about the Apple Vision Pro? Obviously, when Apple goes into a product category, this means this is now becoming mainstream. We had VR headsets for many years now, and well, I've reported about all of them. This now is different. This is Apple. This is going to get in front of many, many more people, and... This couldn't be bigger for our industry. So let's have a look at their own website here. This is the, the press release that they have released Yeah, today. today. So let's have a look at that one. So they're also announcing it February 2nd and so on and so forth. Pre-order starting January the 19th. And now what's interesting, Tim Cook says that the era of spatial computing has arrived. You know, like, like they, they determine it. Apple says now it's here. That is huge. Yeah, obviously, spatial computing has been around now for a couple of years, and yeah, a lot of years already, right? With all the other headsets, with the meta headsets, and so on and so forth. But for them now, okay, now is the time that it really starts, according to Apple. That is interesting. So they have a re revolutionary operating system and user interface. 
It's, feature, it's featuring a brand new three-dimensional user interface and input system controlled entirely by the user's eyes, hands, and voice. The navigation feels magical, and that's absolutely something that I'm looking forward to. So no controllers anymore that we used to from the headset that we use now. Everything is done with where you look at, with your voice, and with some gestures. I totally trust Apple that they've nailed this. I'm so sure about it. Obviously, I will tell you all about it once I got my hands on the device. Yeah. Users can also immerse themselves in environments, dynamic, beautiful landscapes like Haleakala, <laughs> Joshua Tree, and Yosemite National Parks, and even the surface of the moon. Right, right. So, yeah. Obviously, for us VR enthusiasts, that's not new. But for people new to this kind of thing, yeah, we're going to see people in airplanes donning the Apple Vision Pro, turning that crown, the digital crown, to make the reality go away. And then you, you're just in this virtual environment and you can watch your, your videos, your movies on that huge screen. Yeah, three-dimensional three dimensional interface frees apps from boundaries of a display, right? So they can appear side by side. So basically, we, we, how they sell this as a huge virtual display that you can set up however you want. And actually, they do more push this towards productivity, right? This is not like a gaming headset. This is not like the Quest 3, which is a gaming headset, right? This is something else at least that's how they sell this and they actually here here they talk about what this can do and this has a heavy focus on productivity as the first thing they mention it's an infinite canvas for productivity so you, you can use your productivity apps you can basically use all the ipad apps within the apple vision pro without needing an ipad right so it has an m2 processor and therefore you don't need an iPad or like probably even a MacBook. This thing is your iPad, right? And you could put this virtual screens wherever you are. Then second, they sell it as an ultimate entertainment experience. But this also, it, it, it doesn't mean like, wow, it's full of VR games. No, actually what they're talking about is that you can watch your 2D content on huge screens with a high resolution. So this has 4K um, 4K pixels per eye, right? And therefore, what they're telling you is that you have these huge virtual screens where you can watch all your favorite movies, the Apple TV Plus shows, and so on and so forth on a huge 100 feet wide um, HDR screen. Right. So it is more about these virtual canvases instead of these VR experiences that we know from all the other VR headsets. And yeah, then they sell it as a gaming experience, right? Where you can play these 2D games. It's not about VR games. That's the interesting part of it. Yes. All right. Now, another thing which is exciting, in my opinion, is um, the content creation, right? You can make um, 3D movies and pictures with the device itself, with the cameras on the device. So you will be able to relive those memories in a VR fashion with 3D and spatial audio. And you can make these videos again with the device or with your iPhone 15 Pro, right? So these two cameras here, they will become those 3D cameras and then you will be able to simply record, yeah, the world around you in 3D, which should be pretty exciting. Also, FaceTime changes. So the people that you talk with on FaceTime, they will be life-sized in front of you. And depending on the position in space, you're going to hear them from where you position them. So this should be a very immersive experience, which will be very nice. So if they are um, not using the Apple um, Vision Pro themselves, you're going to simply see their video life-size in front of you. But if they use a Vision Pro like you, you're going to see their persona. That's what they call it. And it's basically, it's an avatar. The device scans your face and then when you wear it, it tracks your, uh, yeah, your, 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 your face and people can still see 
the virtual you talking and this avatars they look so real they look so good and they look so much better than what we've seen before on on a meta device for example or actually basically on any other vr headset it's exciting it is exciting i couldn't be more excited about this and it is going to be a reality within a month within a month oh my goodness i am so excited and probably i will need to go back to the states on 2nd of february simply to buy the device you know i'm i'm um, i'm based in in taiwan actually right <laughs> so i might need to go to the states just to buy this device oh wow exciting times exciting times yeah too bad they're selling it not now since i'm here in las vegas right now right but no it seems i need to go back just to get this i can't believe this is happening yeah so super exciting news here from apple at the beginning of ces and uh, well stay tuned to the channel if you're excited about the apple vision pro about xr about virtual reality about mixed reality all the good stuff i'm here in las vegas to attend ces with my teammate marco and tomorrow we're going to hit the show floor we're going to find all the exciting things that we're going to see there about xr we're going to make videos we're going to make live streams and this is truly the best place to find out about ces about xr and we're going to make you feel as if you were on the show floor. So if you don't want to miss that, absolutely subscribe to this channel now and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Yes, so good. So please do leave a comment now in the comment section. Are you excited about the Apple Vision Pro? Are you going to get it on day one? What are your thoughts about this device? I can't wait to read about your thoughts so that's everything i got for this video i'm looking forward to see you tomorrow when ces starts when we directly tell you everything about ces from the show floor until then bye bye